Okay, so not everything always goes the way we want them to. Yeah, we don't have our bagger with us. We don't have our right tarps with us. So, but we're still gonna make do. We're still gonna get by, we still got a job to do, and we are going to share what we're going to do. Now we've got a couple options. We could spend half a day putting our bagger on our Toro 61 inch, cause it's on the other part of town and the bagger's not on and we just got to get this done real fast before it keeps snowing. You can actually see it snowing right now on us. Frankie, let me see ya. Huh. <laughs> Sweating a little on your chin, Frankie? Yeah. It's froze. <laughs> All right, I think I'm, I'm gonna go run and buy some bigger tarps. Okay. And uh, right, we can use these for picking up though. Yeah. So what we got to do because we don't have our, our bagger, we're going to make uh, leaf we're going to make leaf burrito time, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Leaf burrito time. Leaf burrito time. <laughs> All right, I got to go get them. And what we're going to actually end up doing is putting the leaves on small uh, tarps dragging the small tarps over to the big tarps and then making a leaf burrito out of that. So let's go buy some big tarps. So in my hometown, we've got Menards and Home Depot side by each. And which one are you, a Menards fan or a Home Depot fan? Everybody seems to have their preference. And I'd say 90% of my dollars go to Menards. Unless I need tools, then I go to Home Depot. But what about you guys? Let's see, what are we looking for? Tarts. Tarts. Tarts, tarts, tarts. Okay. When it comes to a leaf burrito, bigger is better. That's what she said. Do, 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 do. Uh, do I want to go with a $179 tarp? No. Or a $65 tarp. I think we have a winner. All right, so we're going to go with a 20 by 40 standard duty poly tarp. And you know what? Not science, let's just see how it works to actually make a leaf burrito. You know, you're not always gonna have all of the exact right equipment, but that doesn't mean you still can't get a job done. Now that, guys, is a well-used snowplow. And exactly what I'm talking about, you can still get by even when you don't have it perfect. Love it, love it, love it, love it. I have no clue what this guy's doing. And now it's time to stop having deep thoughts in the Menard parking lot and get back to work. All right, you got the first tarp ready. Sweet, yep, cool. let's lay out the burrito. It's burrito time, leaf burrito time. Right here. What's that? Wait, Yeah, deep. pull. I thought they went up first. Yeah, it's it's kind of weird. It's like kind of bass awkward sometimes. Yeah, it's fine. Don't worry about it. So that's a 20 by 40 tarp. Which way do you guys think we should lay it out? 40 foot that way. Yeah. Ding ding ding. He gets the first donut of the day. Donuts? Frankie, we gotta come this way more. Because we want enough that we can wrap over the top and around the back on both sides. 
we got a sandwich, especially especially over the top more than the back. And we almost, I mean, we're gonna fold it basically like a burrito. Yeah. Okay, so when you're making your leaf burrito, you gotta have more to the front than to the back because you need to fold the top over to keep the leaves from getting in and underneath. Man, this is way bigger than we needed. <laughs> Did you forget how big 40 feet was? 20 by 40. I was like, I don't know if that's gonna be the right size, but I know we don't have enough in the front, though. So we can come to the front more. Okay, so 20 by 30 probably would have been just fine. Yeah. I think so. Yeah. All right. Let's throw some stuff on it so we get the wind from blowing up on it and boom, bada bing, bada boom. Christmas. Looks a little dead to be a Christmas tree. That's a Christmas tree. Summer Christmas tree, maybe. Oh, dude, that's... Oh, wait, it's November. Yeah. That's last year's Christmas tree. <laughs> <laughs> they just got it out. Hey, we're gonna drive right up to these other ones, or what? Why not? Yeah, yeah that'll be a lot simpler. So what's the most important thing when doing a leaf burrito, Stan? Have enough slack over the top because this has to be folded up and over so as you go down the road, if you got a long way to go, it doesn't get underneath and... You still got it, guys. Go back up the trailer. We load yeah. up these sticks because I don't want to block this road. That was a big pile of sticks I grabbed, wasn't it? Were you guys impressed by that massive handful? All right, I'm gonna slide her over a bit. All right. Burrito. Okay. Want that back here? Oh. Oh, look at There's more bags in the bag. Bags on bags on bags. Alright. What if something nasty was in that bag and you're touching all over it? This would be the first nasty thing I touched all over. Cue the montage! And the super cool music right now. What's the other important thing not to forget when you're doing a burrito? That you have other equipment. So we have to be able to do this and have space for more. Actually, the perfect size starts for loading. What size are they? I think six by eight or something. Actually, they are. 
They can be loaded by one guy or two guys. Mm -hmm. Depending on how wet your leaves are. Definitely a manageable size. Okay, it's called a leaf burrito because at this step of the game, we just simply turn it into a burrito. Now you gotta tarp it, or strap it. Yep. And you strap it like an X. Like an X? Like an X. So we go from that side, whoosh, over to that way, from that side, whoosh, over to that way. How's the back? No good. No good? No bueno? Partly on it? Ooh. It's got what? Machine. It's got, got a machine put on the it. Lower on still. That's not the right way to do a leaf burrito, but we can get by. I mean, hell, we're getting by with everything else anyway. Technically, putting the mower on the back far. isn't the best way to do it. No, no, that's not good for the trailer. We can get it over the axle. Okay, as long as you can get the majority of the weight over the axle. Yeah, yeah, we can. Not ideal. Not the perfect way to learn. I'll probably have to just edit this part right out. <laughs> I mean, we did put the heaviest stuff at the front. So I was thinking about that. You don't start it on your back anymore? I did. I do not. I see you grabbing the steel. You liking it, loving yeah. it, hating it, um, in between in it. I'm actually really liking it. I know I couldn't figure out the pull thing before, but now that I figured it out, I really like it. What were you doing wrong? I was just trying to yank it like it was an actual pull, but it's like a wind up sprung type thing. I don't know. That's a really good ex explanation. I don't know. I'm not an engineer. It's like cockpit. Well, we did make it safe, even though it wasn't loaded exactly the way we like it. Drop the back ramp down, and then just open up the burrito and you blow it out. That's what she said. That's twice in one video. You just pop that sucker open.
best tool you got, you have with you everywhere you go. And that's right here, you guys. You don't have to own every single piece of equipment to get a job done. I'm sure you guys have been in a situation where you just had to figure it out. You let me know what that was in the comments down below. I love hearing your stories. As always, guys, God bless. Go get them. And hey, check out these other videos right here. See you later.